Hello and welcome to the second round of the PCC European Tour. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you right now. That is indeed Zarclonian Prince Tlasclavixis Maxiblia on the pole for this race. Now, earlier in the week, there was a reported break-in at the Hewitt Motors facility in uh, Great Britain. And uh, one of their cars was stolen. I believe it was the uh, car that won at Brno. Now, Prince Tlas turned up at this race uh, yesterday at the racetrack with a car that looked remarkably similar uh, with, uh, as far as body lines are concerned and it matches up very well with the Hewitt uh, car that won at Brno. Now the PCC Cup Series officials have launched an investigation into this matter and uh, well, Prince Tlass will be allowed to start and keep his pull uh, however uh, word will be passed down later in the race as to the fate of uh, Prince Tlass in this race. Uh, there have been rumors that he will be disqualified from the event uh, if it is indeed found to be uh, a stolen card that he's running with, but he will be allowed to start the race and will be allowed to compete, and uh, I will announce what happens to him later on in the event uh, once the stewards make an announcement uh, regarding that situation. Now here's Prince Tlass bringing the field through the final turn. Uh, to the green flag, uh, as I mentioned before, he was allowed to start on the pole, bringing the field down to take the green flag. It uh, looks like a pretty ragged start. They're not all together, and he takes the green flag. That was a pretty late green flag to be thrown there. Starts pulling away from Christopher Loxon in there in the 73 car, driving for Alteris Gessler GP. Uh, Prince Tlass was the fastest car in uh, all of the practice sessions that he uh, participated in by uh, a good second or two at least. As you can see there, the rest of the field filing through into turn number one. As I mentioned before, it was a really ragged start. Cameraman uh, not doing his job very well there. Uh, but here's Christopher Loxanen running in second place. He had a very strong run at Il Bianchi uh, the last time we saw him uh, in Italy. But unfortunately, he got stuck behind the great wall of Gracie Benson and uh, lost the race to Louis Ballard, who is running back. I believe he qualified in 14th place in the zero car. Not a very strong uh, qualifying effort for that zero car. Lap number two, you can see there the lead that Prince Class has built up over the rest of the field as uh, he runs a bit wide there, kicks up some dirt. But then again, everybody has been doing that. It seems to be the fastest line around the track. Prince Tlass pulling away very early on in that allegedly stolen Hewitt. Uh, officials still uh, launching an inquiry into that. Here's Davies Flimflam, who's running back in 38th place. 39 cars started the event, and uh, he's going to bring his car into the pits on lap number two, uh, reporting a cut tire in that car. And here he is going a lap down on lap number three. So uh, that just tells you how far he fell behind everyone else. And it looks like... Uh, some of his brethren at the back of the field will be getting lapped here fairly shortly as well. Here's Salvatore Torregrosa running in fifth place on lap number three in the middle of a Rus Autosport sandwich. I believe that is Sergei Yakovsky right behind him. There's Davies Flimflam going a lap down as it Kowalczyk in front of him. Uh, you can see there the marbles uh, on the outer part of the track there. There was a uh, support race for the WSCC earlier today and all of the top six, um, barring Prince Tlass of course, actually competed in that event. Uh, it was won by uh, Isaac Kowalczyk there, who's running in fourth place right now, uh, driving the 16 for Roos Autosport in his first race of the year. Murphy Weller uh, reporting some problems with that number 87 car, drives a bit wide entering the pits, and he's going to pit from 25th place here on lap number three. Uh, Prince Tlass coming up to lap some of the back markers. You've got, I believe that's the 09 of Jorge Verona, and uh, the zero car of Clint Lend that he's catching. Uh, yes, there are two zero cars in this race. Uh, Louis Ballard in the Manticore zero and uh, Clint Lend in this uh, Coal Valley racing number zero car. I believe they just barely got that car into the grid. And whoa, Prince Tlass drives a bit wide there, uh, but makes it stick and passes the two back markers uh, with ease. Here is Shumi Winslow, the oldest of the Winslow brothers, uh, running in... I believe he's running in 15th place right now. He hits the wall, trying to pass uh, Hank Jr. Wheat Farmer and loses a couple positions. There's Lou Philippe Goslin going by. Uh, he falls back a few spots. Giuseppe Balducci having a problem uh, with this number 42 car bringing the car into the pits. He's reporting uh, something in the suspension rattling, and he's going to get that checked out. Um, 
Gitsuppi Balducci also ran in the WSCC support race as well as, I believe that's Marius Rutcher uh, pitting in the background as well. He also ran in that. Uh, so quite a big field for this WSCC race, which unfortunately we were unable to broadcast due to um, some conflicting television rights. Here is, I believe that's Leonid Chernov uh, working through some lap traffic. That's Jorge Verona and Clint Lend there. You can see just uh, how all over the place these back markers are. Cars getting into the marbles and sliding all over the place. Uh, Christopher Loxanen bringing his car into the pits from second place. Uh, something not too... Uh, he's reporting something's a bit wrong with the brakes in this uh, 73 car. Going to get that looked at. It looks like the suspension problem for Giuseppe Balducci is getting even worse. And he's going to park that car on the side of the track on the curbs. And that's going to be the end of his day. Uh tough break for Giuseppe Balducci. He was having a pretty strong run. I believe he was in uh, 14th place at the time of retirement. Here's Michael Grant doing a good job. Ooh, he got into the back of Jorge Verona there uh, and uh, is going to scoot on by without too much of an issue. Michael Grant running up in uh, the top 15 right now, uh, putting some laps on those cars there. He's He had a pretty strong run at Il Bianchi. I believe he finished in the top 10 in this number 185 car, uh, his own car that he's owned ever since uh, he did not, he was not retained by Australian Motorsports. And I believe that this is Christopher Loxanen reporting even more trouble uh, with the brakes again in this number 73 car. Runs a bit wide there. Gonna try and pull it into the pits, letting a bunch of cars go by, trying to brake. Uh oh, it looks like he lost the brakes. He's gonna hit the curbs, go over, and he's gonna roll the car in the final turn, collecting. Uh, this 23 car there of uh, Sofia Agnostopoulos, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, you see here Agnostopoulos, I think it is, uh, going on board with her. And you see here, uh, looks like Loxanen's going to pull into the pits, slides across, no time to react, and runs into the back of Loxanen. Loxanen goes up on his roof there. Uh, 23 car puts it in reverse and is going to get away from that. They're going to take the hood off of that car on board with, I believe this is Love Zerapin. Uh, and you can see there just uh, no time to react. He just lost the car, tried to steer it, and uh, just couldn't pull it off. So both uh, so Loxanen is going to go out of the race early on. And it looks like Hinkley Scarberry got rear-ended there by Marcus Scaifehead in turn one. He checked out for uh, Joha Vovacic in the 991 car. And uh, they're all going to soldier on. You see there Vovacic having quite a few problems in that number 991 car. Hinkley Scarberry having a decent run, though, in the top 20. Uh, he's running in 19th place. Louis Ballard is bringing his car into the pits. I think this is a scheduled stop to try and make it the distance early on, pitting on lap number 7. And here is Leonid Chernov pulling away from his Rus Autosport brethren back there. There's Isaac Kowalczyk and uh, looks like Sergei Yakovsky in the background. But Leonid Chernov uh, really pulling away from everyone else there, Sofia Ignastopoulos. Um, I can ask to pull us. I'm, I can't remember which it is. Um, I'm not very good with Greek names. Looks like uh, getting checked up there by Clint Lend, holding up uh, Kowalczyk there on the outside. Kowalczyk was trying to make a good run, but unfortunately got held up by a lap car there. And same thing with uh, Sergei Yakovsky. Now, Louis Philippe Goslin is reporting some problems. He's going to pull that car into the pits. They're going to try and get it repaired. He's going to stay in the pit lane the entire race. You see there they jacked up the car. Trying to figure out what's wrong, but unfortunately they wouldn't figure out what's wrong with that 17 car, and he would retire from the event. Here is Salvatore Torregrossa, and uh, he's uh, running in fourth place right now, doing a good job. Uh, really pushing the car. Oh, that's not good. Something just broke on that number 43 car. He's going to limp it back to the pits, though. Um, looks like the car still has power. I think he cut a tire, but he's going to come out of the pits in 17th place. You see there, there's Louis Ballard. Uh, luckily for him, doesn't look like he lost too much time, and he should be able to hang in there and still score some points. Looking on the back of, uh, I don't remember which car this is. I think this is the 89 of Zygmunt Koufax. You can see there, Prince Tlas punted him out of the way. Uh, and actually did quite a bit of damage to the hood of Prince Tlas, but he's going to stay out on track. Zygmunt Koufax, uh, that rattled some parts in the suspension. He's going to pull that car into the pits. And uh, ultimately, they ended up retiring this car due to an unrelated engine problem uh, that was also occurring at the time. Here's Jorge Verona getting rear-ended by Isaac Kowalczyk. Gets pushed wide there, and he's going to get bogged down in the sand. 
going to try and steer it back on track, but the car just doesn't have quite the horsepower. And, uh, what is he doing? Um, uh, Jorge Verona, that, that's not how you get back on the track. Um, please stop making a show of yourself and uh, get that car back going right. Um, he would get the car going again. Uh, Isaac Kowalczyk pulling into the pits following Joha Vovasic there in the 991 car. Uh, but yeah, Jorge Verona would get his car uh, going back on track after that interesting maneuver. Here's Clint Lend getting rear-ended by Gracie Benson. Did a bit of damage to uh, Benson's hood. Clint Lend now going to get pushed wide into the sand. And he's going to get bogged down and gets hit by the other Zero car. Backs up and he's going to back up right in front of everyone. There's Salvatore Torregrosa going by. Um, Mark Donovan, Ed Boddicker. But he's going to get his car going again. Uh, Clint Lend in the Zero car. Uh, driving for uh, Cole Valley Motorsports, I believe it is. Uh, really kind of a last minute deal. Looks like uh, Mikhail Abulin in the number uh, 90 car driving for Russian Bears is going to have an issue and he's going to break down on track. They're going to tow that car back to the pits and get whatever just broke on it repaired. Send him back out. Clint Lend, unfortunately his day is going to end uh, in a big clot of smoke right there. And uh, can't really say that uh, it's a bad thing that that happened. He was kind of all over the place. You see there, he's even weaving back and forth trying to get the car stopped. Uh, so, kind of a good riddance there. Joho Vovasic pulling into his pit stop, runs into the back of the Zero car. Um, apparently not happy with what he did there. Something that he did there. Uh, he was Koopy Winslow bringing the car into the pits from 5th place. A very strong run for Koopy Winslow. Uh, doing a good job here today. And, uh, uh, the youngest of the Winslow brothers uh, really showing what he can do. Joho Vovasic getting rear-ended by Brandomir Nikolaev, getting pushed off the track, pushed off the track. Both go into the dirt, and uh, he just spins him off there. Uh, Brandomir Nikolaev apparently not taking too kindly uh, to some of the back markers here today as Vovasic trying to get himself out of that little uh, sand pit to no avail. Now on lap number 18, here's Sergei Yakovsky uh, running in third place, bringing his car into the pits. Lap number 18 of 30, the second uh, driver for Rus Autosport doing a good job here today, uh, af especially after recovering from injuries sustained at the round of Decatur in 2012. Conceso Montero brings her car into the pits uh, uh, a lap later, uh, running pretty well as well. I believe she was running in seventh place when she brought her car into the pits. Uh, she also had a very strong run in Italy. Here is Hank Jr. Wheat Farmer, who's having a pretty good run. He's running in 8th place right now, holding off uh, Louis Ballard there. He's running in the 776. Uh, never forget uh, 911 America car. Uh, doing a good job here today. Uh, trying to bring down all them commies, man. Uh, here is Mercedes Winslow having another good run. In 6th place, right in front of, I believe that's... Isaac Kowalczyk back there having a very strong run, and here's Carolina Storman running in fifth place. So a few of the PCC Europe regulars uh, having a very having very strong runs here today. Uh, Storman, the German supercar driver, especially. Gracie Benson's reporting some issues with her number 70 car hits the 17 there. Uh, Might have been a broken steering column because of. Uh, that little incident, but she's going to drop out of the race. So is Salvatore Torregrosa, who's running in 10th place, get, putting a lap on Andros Baumgartner, and that car goes up in smoke. Unfortunate for him, he looked like he was going to recover quite a few points uh, after breaking down early on, but unfortunately it wasn't meant to be, and he's going to park his car on the side of the track there and go out of the race. Now this is uh, Jan Schmidt in the number 37 car, uh, bringing his car into the pits from 3rd place. He had yet to make a pit stop, but unfortunately he's going to drop out of the race due to some suspension failure in that car. And uh, here is Joha Vovasic, whose car is uh, slowing down. Looks like that car is finally um, giving up. He's going to park it on the outside of the final turn there, uh, just outside of the racing line. That's not a very safe place to park your car. And uh, there goes the leader right on by. Uh, almost looked like he was going to hit him. Leonid Chernov uh, from Rutanistan bringing his car into the pits, uh, running in second place. He had inherited second place after Christopher Loxanen dropped out and has yet to relinquish it. Cr Prince Tlas brings his car into the pits the next lap, coming down pit road, 
And I believe that's Mercedes Winslow being released, and he runs into him. That's going to do quite a bit of damage to Prince Glass's car. You see right there, looks like uh, pushed the car into the air a little bit, uh, the 644. Uh, Prince Glass is going to continue on, uh, still waiting for a word on uh, his status in this race. Uh, looks like Nicholas Marchenkov is going to break down there on the side of the track. He had a decent run going. He was running in 25th place, uh, just a few point, uh, positions out of the points, uh, but that's going to be the end of his day now. Here's Marius Rutcher. Uh, he's running in 20th place right now, which is the last position for points. Uh, in the PCC Europe series, uh, running right behind Marcus Scaife there. And uh, he's really having a pretty strong run, trying to make a look on the inside there, maybe. Uh, but now the next lap, the battle's going to heat up even more as Murphy Weller and Lev Zarepin start to work their way into the picture. And you see there, Marius Rutcher runs a bit wide, and he's going to lose 20th and 21st. Uh, so a really good battle that's heating up there, and you got Isaac Kowalczyk right behind. Uh, all these cars are a lap down. Murphy Weller looking on the outside here. He's going to uh, try and make a push on uh, Marcus Scaife for 19th place, diving to the inside. Excellent racing back here for uh, the very minor points, the last few points. It looks like Marcus Scaife is going to get a good run there on the inside and the outside and pull ahead again. Murphy Weller resigned to 20th place. Sean Spicoli, who is running in 22nd, is unfortunately going to slow down. Uh, something not right with that car, just a few laps from the finish and pull that car off to the side. He is not going to make it to the checkered flag and is going to drop out of the race. Now Murphy Weller, uh, going back to this battle, is going to get around Marcus Scaife. Uh, there's Marius Rutcher diving into the pits uh, from 21st, so he's going to take himself out of this run uh, for points here. But Lev Zarepin, something wrong with that car from 21st. Um, Marius Rutcher was running in 22nd, excuse me. But here's Lev Zarepin running in 21st place, trying to soldier that car home to the finish. Uh, looks like he lost at least one cylinder in that car. Uh, that car is not getting any straightaway speed at all. It's only hitting about 110 miles per hour on the straightaway. But here comes Prince Tlass around the uh, final turn, and we just got word from the officials that he is going to be disqualified from this race uh, for running in a stolen car. So Prince Tlass crosses the line first, but he is not going to be the winner here today. Um, this driver is, however, Leonid Chernov in the number 66 for Rus Autosport rounds the final turn, and Leonid Chernov is going to take his first career PCC Cup Series victory at the Hungaro Ring here today for Rus Autosport. Today was a career day for Rus Autosport, whose three drivers sweep the podium. Yakovsky finishes in second place, and Isaac Kowalczyk rounds out the podium in his first star of the year. Louis Ballard recovers to finish in fourth place. Koopy Winslow finishes in fifth. An excellent run for Winslow, the youngest of the Winslow brothers. Carolina Storman has an excellent run as well, finishing in sixth place. Good run for the German supercar driver there. Concesso Montiero has another good run in that number 68 car driving for Lenore Scurry's operation. Receipt, uh, Mercedes Winslow and Shumi Winslow uh, finish eighth and tenth. Uh, the two other brothers of... Uh, the Winslow family. And Hank Jr. Wheat Farmer finishes in ninth place, a very strong run for him, the highest finishing American. Michael Grant finishes in 11th place for his own team, Fix It Racing. Grandemir Nikolaev is the only 7th gear Autospark car to soldier home to the finish, but in 12th place. Mark Donovan, Ed Boddicker, Hinkley Scarberry, uh, part of uh, the Retro 80 Delta City um, team alliance there, finished 13th through 15th. Uh, strong runs for them, considering how well they did at, uh, rather how well they didn't do at uh, Italy. Franz Bergman gets a good run for that number 79 team. Mark Ambrose and Marcus Scaife bring those cars home in 17th and 19th. Murphy Weller, another car for that uh, Retro 80 Delta City um, alliance. And Lev Zarepin brings the car home in 20th place, netting a single solitary point for Russian Bears Motorsport. Now, looking at the points, Leonid Chernov takes the lead in the point standings over Louis Ballard. Sergei Yakovsky is in third place now. Uh, Christopher Loxanen gets five points for winning the pole after uh, Prince Tlas was stripped of that uh, after the race was concluded uh, due to running a stolen car. That's a no-no. Uh, Concesso Montero continues her strong uh, PCC Europe run 
In fifth place with 58 points, Koopy Winslow and Brandon Nikolaev are tied for sixth with 51 points. Michael Grant having a strong run uh, in eighth place with 46 points. Isaac Kowalczyk in his one start has accrued 45 points. Carolina Storman in tenth with 44. Uh, then there's a huge drop to 11th with uh, Mercedes uh, Winslow and Jan Schmidt tied at 26 points, along with Mark Donovan. Uh, Hank Jr. Wheat Farmer and Salvatore Torregrossa tied at 24, tied for 14th. Um, Shumi Winslow and Louis Philippe Gosselin in the 7th gear Autosport car tied for 16th at 22 points apiece. Uh, Dar Daria Aliwi did not run. Uh, the Hungaro ring race. She was unable to get her car onto um, the entry list in time, uh, but is still 18th in points with 18 points. Mark Ambrose and Ed Bodicker round out your top 20 in points.